Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about the CDR changes that we implemented in version 20. We did this because we want to be able to facilitate larger enterprise customers with larger resource demand and larger call volumes. So in an uh, installation of 100,000 simultaneous calls, the main bottleneck is the CDR. The CDR grows and grows. It uh, bloats the database. Uh, let's put it in numbers, 100,000 simultaneous calls will generate around 50 to 70 megabytes of, uh, SQ, of CDR. It might sound like it's not much, but over a month, it can easily come to a gig, a gig and a half. I mean, that's coming in six months or a year, it will can grow to 10 or 15 gigs. 15 gigs of SQL storage is a problem. To add on that, we have here, we can see five tables that all contain call data. These tables are just to get a call from A to B. Yeah. So we go into the, 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 the killer of SQL. The killer of SQL is the join operation. Okay. And when you join and uh, when you, when you, when you join and you join five fat tables, then you, it, you get a very, very, uh, performance issue because you affect the CPU, you affect memory, and you also affect disk space. That's what the join does. Now, to solve this problem, there are two parts that we had to uh, deal with. Number one, this five tables was bad news. So we had to flatten it out into one table. It's bad news to read. It's for a BI user, very complex to explain. So we had to flatten it out into one table called CDR output, which you will see now. It's a single flat table that has 40 features or variables. And you can immediately appreciate if you look at it, how easy it is to read. For example, this is a simultaneous, this is a call uh, ID, I call history ID, very important. But look, we can read it, extension 105 source of type extension with name, and uh, phone number to a destination. So we have some destination features, extension 106. It's very easy to read. Call init, call initialize. Destination participant terminated, which means the call was dropped by the destination part. When the CDR started, when it ended, and when it was answered. So we can calculate all sorts of times, the groups, and that's it. So that's less data. That solves the first problem. But when you have 100,000 simultaneous calls, yes, you can streamline five tables into one, but still this data will grow and grow and grow. So we need to take it out of 3CX. We had to find a way to take it out of 3CX and offload it. Where would you offload it? The answer is to the cloud storage either your own cloud or G GCP, AWS or Amazon. And you would be seeing an interface like this in version 20, where you go to integrations, data connectors. We have developed two data connectors, but more are on the way, including Amazon and MySQL. And uh, essentially we made a CDR offloader that every so often we get the data that we have in this table okay in the in in the cdr output table and we offload it out of 3cx with an option to delete call history records the moment they are offloaded the moment they are successfully transferred to a remote storage okay let's assume that the remote storage is this and i'm going to open this remote storage so we already can see that this is gold for a BI user. Why? Because the BI user doesn't, the less data you give a BI user, the better it is for the, the, the job to be, to be done, for the visual, for the display to be uh, uh, handled. So we're not giving BI users and data, and, and, uh, data and analytics uh, hundreds of tables. It's just two tables, CDR output and CDR billing for now. Maybe by the end of the year, we'll be, we will be offering around five or seven flattened tables. But with those seven, you can do everything. And uh, the most important thing is that the CDR output is going to be the main table for all call information. Okay. Let's look at a queue call. 
and uh, you will immediately appreciate that you can easily read this yeah so i'm gonna go a little bit fast on this we don't know it's a q yet but we will quickly know because destination entity type is q and there is an inbound routing leg before so we can quickly look at these two which means that these four the highlighted four are the polling of the extensions this is their these are their names and uh, these are their groups we have some key features like divert and forward all, which will be documented in a separate document. We also know who from the legs dropped the call. We can also say that um, we have reason to believe that this is an abandoned call. Why? Because none of the agents answered, cancelled, and there is no CDR answer time. So it's an abandoned call is uh, an important metric in uh, Q call center and this offload means that this has been offloaded and uh, is being successfully offloaded to the storage so I think I there is one more point that I want to explain we have a 3cx here which is offloading data to Google to Google Cloud or Postgres yes how do I see these reports it's very easy and uh, because with the introduction of Grafana or Tableau or Power BI, you can get Grafana to connect directly to the cloud storage, okay? Which means that you don't even need to go to, to via 3CX to get a report. None of the users that traditionally had reporter access will need to generate reports from here anymore. This means less stress, less web access, less SQL running here. All this is removed from 3CX and we let the two cloud providers uh, with all the resources to compute this. So we're taking compute off from 3CX and we let the cloud handle it. I'm looking forward for the next video where we will go over some uh, Grafana dashboards, both for Google BigQuery and Postgres. And I hope you found it informative and I thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more great updates on 3CX.